Hello from Becky and me. Welcome to this evening's programme. First tonight, the latest bid for freedom by one of our most notorious mass murderers. Jeremy Bamba is serving life in prison for the massacre 25 years ago of five members of his family at their farmhouse in Tolson Darcy in Essex. He's always denied shooting them, blaming the crime on his sister. Now he says a newly discovered transcript of a call apparently made by his father to the police supports his story. This from Tom Barton. 25 years to the week after five people were shot dead, the house where the massacre happened is hidden from view, up a private drive and behind a wall of trees. But memories of the killings live on in the village of Tolson Darcy, near Maldon in Essex. Unfortunately, Tolson Darcy is known for the Bamba killings now and, and not anything nice, which is a shame. A lot of people still remember it, still talk about it, show interest because he's trying to get a reprieve. Jeremy Bamba has always denied shooting dead his mother, father, sister and twin nephews. He claims his sister Sheila was responsible before turning the gun on herself, something the police also initially believed. The last shot neighbours heard, detectives believe, was the suicide shot of his daughter Sheila. Over the weeks that followed, as new evidence came to light, police rejected the theory that Sheila had been responsible for the shootings and then committed suicide. They instead began to investigate Jeremy Bamber. That evidence was put to a jury and he was found guilty. Bamba was convicted of the murders in October 1986. In 1989, a first appeal based on the judge's summing up was dismissed, and five years later, his tariff was extended from 25 years to a whole life term. In 2002, another appeal challenging the forensics also failed. Earlier this year, a former police expert raised doubts over some of the photographic evidence. Today's Daily Mirror reports that police phone logs have now emerged, which Bamba hopes will lead to a third appeal. According to the documents which have come to light today, Jeremy Bamba's father, Neville, phoned police at 3.26 in the morning. That's ten minutes earlier than what was believed to be the first call. In it, he told the operator, my daughter's gone berserk. He added, Sheila has got hold of one of my guns. It does go to the heart of the case against him. Jeremy Bamba says this document prove somebody rang the police from the farm 10 minutes before I rang the police. If that's the case, then that would suggest that perhaps Jeremy Bamba may be telling the truth. Bamba is one of 38 prisoners serving a whole life tariff. The others include Moore's murderer Ian Brady, Dinah McNichols killer Peter Tobin and Rosemary West. The Criminal Cases Review Commission is looking again at the evidence against Bamba, his lawyers hope to hear soon whether he'll be granted leave to appeal. A jury at the original trial believed these were the crocodile tears of a calculating killer. Bamba's supporters maintain they were those of an innocent man who'd been the victim of a most horrific tragedy. Tom Barton, Anglia News at Tolson, Darcy in Essex. A chief constable, a health minister and local doctors have joined forces to criticise a nightclub in Essex that's selling customers up to 20 drinks each at just 50 pence a shot. Dukes in Chelmsford says it's just trying to offer good value for money, but others say it's encouraging binge drinking on the cheap. Lorna Ramsey has the story. For this, you get this. And that is what all the fuss is about. Duke's nightclub in Chelmsford is trying to get punters through the doors with a promotion that gives people up to 20 shots of spirits, glasses of wine and beer at 50p each. I don't think they should be encouraging people to drink that much. No way. Uh, yeah, I've done it quite a few times. I'd spent 10 quid on 20 drinks. Not, had that, not actually managed to drink that many, of course, because I can't, you know, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. Obviously, going to lead to a lot of antisocial problems around here. So I think it's a very bad idea. Cut price deals like this are blamed for drink fuel disorder and antisocial behaviour. And politicians and police say they don't want the problems in Chelmsford to get any worse. It seems very odd to me that at a time when you have a serious problem with binge drinking and the antisocial behaviour that then flows from that, that they are offering drinks at such a low level. I think it works out at about 50p a drink. Well, that's well below the cost of the alcohol itself and if they don't think that is being irresponsible then it rather beggars belief. 
Essex police say both they and the council have spoken to the manager of Dukes. In a statement, the police told us the club were asked to reconsider the promotion and were warned of the consequences should problems arise. They chose to continue with the promotion and Essex police is currently monitoring events and will be considering further action. We weren't able to speak to the nightclub directly today, but they have defended the promotion to journalists. The promotion is available on Friday and Saturday nights. The management say that many of their customers are feeling the pinch and this promotion offers value for money. They also add that as far as they understand, it hasn't added to any violence or disorder in the town centre. Certainly some in Chelmsford like the idea of the cheaper night out. But with doctors warning of an epidemic of binge drinking hitting the nation's health, promotions like this will leave a sour taste in the mouths of many others. Let's join Lorna now outside of Dukes. Lorna, I wonder, having seen your report, do you think that the club might actually change their mind this evening? posters are still on display and the manager has defended it to other journalists. Now the club is they're getting a cheap night out but many other areas across the UK including Manchester and Scotland are looking at imposing a minimum price for alcohol because of the problems associated with it. Now the medical profession is very much united on this issue and that's because figures show that in the east of England there have been 90,000 hospital admissions in one year because of alcohol related problems. Now it's important to stress that legally the club is doing nothing wrong here but what the medical profession wants to point out is that drinks may cost 50 pence each here but the true cost of cheap alcohol is much higher. Lorna, thanks very much. Sorry about the sound there. I hope you can hear Lorna over the, the din. traffic.